Guys, for this video, I'm going to be installing the Traxxas BEC bolt-in kit for the TRX4 Sport and the other uh, TRX4 models. And I'm going to be also installing their 2255 servo, which is a brushless 400 ounce servo. So that should work out pretty well in this truck. The truck is on loan from Jack's RC Recycle and Repair. And as always, there are links in the descriptions to everything that I'm using. So guys, let's get busy. This is what you get with the BEC kit. You get the BEC itself, you get a receiver lid, you get these uh, JST connectors, which allow you to use both the BEC and the light kit if you happen to have that. Got some uh, two-sided thick tape, got a brand new receiver lid, got a new gasket, uh, zip tie, some bolts, and an, uh, another piece of foam right there with uh, some sticky tape on it, and some grease. And here are the instructions. You get a nice set of instructions, which I'll be following to the letter in English and in Spanish. So I'll obviously be following the English version. Let's take a look at this high torque 400 servo 2255. Let's take a look at the specs on this. Six volts, 7.4 volts, 400 ounces at six volts, 0.15 seconds on time. Um, by the specs, this should be a really good servo for the TRX4 Sport. Servo feels fairly solid, got some weight to it. It is brushless, so hopefully it'll be kind of quiet and absolutely super strong. It's got to be stronger than the uh, 2075X that comes in those things, right? Got to be. This is the 2075X box stock truck. Although it looks pretty good here, when you're in the rocks, if you guys have this truck, you know this servo will stall quite easily. Let's go ahead and get the 400 in. And I'm going to put it in without the BC just to see if I can get the uh, ESC to brown out. Probably not on the table, but I'm pretty sure it would out in the rocks. To remove the stock servo, you're going to need a 2mm hex wrench here, 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 and also on the horn right here. These bolts right here have to come out and they are 2.5 millimeter hex and you're going to have to cut at least one zip tie. When you remove the receiver box lid, this is what you see. The old servo versus the new one. I gotta say I like the new one a lot better. Okay, let's go ahead and get it in there. Servo is powered up and centered, and I really did not want to put that plastic horn on this thing, so I found this purple horn. Looks good. Okay, let's see if this thing browns out the ESC. Hmm, not bad. Wow. You see that flex on the axle? It is actually flexing the plastic mounts at the axle and up here where the uh, pan hard bar is. <laughs> wow. And it's not running out the uh, receiver, the uh, system. So okay. now that we have the servo in place and working, it's time to install the BEC. Step two is to stick this right here. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny. You can't really mess that up. Step three, stick the BEC right here on top of the receiver. Step four, route your BEC wires through the hole on the new receiver lid. Step five, take these two screws out, lift this up so you can run your BEC wires alongside the ESC receiver wire. Step six, while you're underneath the battery tray, Cut that zip tie and use the zip tie provided to hold all the wires together to the same position on the transmission. Step 7 says to loosen or remove these two bolts that hold the ESC in place so you can move the JST around and kind of hide it. I'm just going to simply leave it like this. Wire is routed. Now back at step 3, even though it doesn't say it in the instructions, you should probably go ahead and put that little o-ring in there. That little uh, blue gasket. Now step 8, 
you take the ESC wire out of the channel two on the receiver and you plug that into the BC. And then the BC wires go into channel two on the receiver. Step 10, you glue that foam pad to the uh, lid that goes right there and that's where your other little foam pad goes. This helps to waterproof it. And you're also supposed to add a little bit of this Traxxas grease there as well, which further helps to waterproof it. With the BEC installed and functional, let's see what we got. That is actually pretty darn good. Oh, and keep in mind this BEC is only six volts because if you're using this on a truck with all the servos, you know, like the shift servos and the diff lock servos of the full uh, Traxxas Defender, you know, you don't want more than six volts. So this is a good solid six volt BEC. And this servo is good to 7.4 volts. So if you have your own BEC and you want to actually step it up, you can and get more. So guys, that was the Traxxas 2255 400 ounce brushless servo test along with their bolt-in BEC. The BEC went in perfectly, no issues, everything worked really, really well. There is a link in the description below for the servo and the BEC directly from Traxxas. Take a look at that if you want a real Traxxas part in your Traxxas truck. So I had no issues at all with the servo. It done everything I asked of it and the BEC worked flawlessly. That was all on 2S, by the way, you know, um, and I have no complaints at all. So the system worked out really good. Thank you all for watching.